Hello, everybody. This is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I think the title of this video will be The Declaration of Dependence. That's why I said Declaration of Dependence, not Independence. But first, let's, uh, let's talk about the Declaration of Independence. Uh, we know in 1776, the American colonies declared independence from England, from the King of England. He was a tyrant king, and we desired to be independent. We did not want to be under his rule. And now you know the rest of the story, what's happened in America since then. But there is a Declaration of Independence that goes way farther back in history than 1776. The original Declaration of Independence by man was made by Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. But they did not declare independence from a mortal, fallible king. They declared independence from the King of Kings, God Almighty. Rather than wanting to be independent from a tyrant king, they wanted to be independent from God, who is love. Oh, well, that's what it says in uh, 1 John 4, 8. It says, God is love. <sighs> yeah, they had it so good. It was perfect. And yet, they declared independence. And they succumbed to the temptation and the lie from Satan. that they too could become like God. Yes, they, they did believe God when he said, if you disobey and eat that from that tree, you will surely die that day. They didn't believe God. They chose to believe Satan instead. Satan said, no, you, you will not surely die. You'll just become like God. <laughs> so, they wanted to be in charge. They did not want to be under God's uh, authority. They, they decided to break away. And ever since then, all of us, the descendants of, from Adam and Eve, we've inherited this same spirit of rebellion. It says in Isaiah 53, 6, We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. That's right. All of mankind in our nature, we are rebels. We're, we have rebelled against authority, rebelled against God, having control and dominion over us. We've declared our own sovereignty from God, our freedom from God. Well, this is uh, 2012. A lot of time has passed, and if you look at our American society today, this is what's being taught to everyone. They say that you should have self-confidence. I'm going to ask you to reject self-confidence. I'm going to ask you instead to put your confidence in Jesus Christ. 
He's worthy of your confidence. Put your confidence entirely in Jesus Christ as your Savior. Don't put your confidence in yourself, in your own ability. They're teaching us today that we should have self-esteem. But I'm going to ask you to reject that whole concept of self-esteem. And instead, give all the esteem to God Almighty, Jesus Christ, our Savior God. You see, when we esteem ourselves, there's a word for that. It's called pride. Pride is a sin. Rather than being full of pride and self-esteem, I'm going to ask you to be humble and give all the esteem to God who created you and loves you and died for your sins and offers you eternal life in heaven. Only God is worthy of our, our esteem. They're also telling you that you can have self-control. You can be in charge of your life. Rather than self-control, I'm going to ask you to give up control. I'm going to ask you to give all control back to God. Let Jesus Christ be Lord. Let him be your guide, your compass. You know the old saying, what would Jesus do? Can you live by that as a creed? Rather than trying to make those decisions yourself. I'm not asking you to do this to, to get saved. Because you're not saved by following Jesus or serving Jesus. You're saved by trusting Jesus as your Savior. But He is worthy. And He is faithful. Give control of your life over to Jesus. And you won't be disappointed. He will lead you to the, the right places in your life. Your also issue today is self-righteousness. In evangelism, it's very common for us to ask people, well, why, why should God let you into heaven? <laughs> Almost all people will try to justify themselves by saying that they are a good person. But the Bible says that no one is good, only God is good. The Bible says the, the righteousness of man is like filthy rags in the sight of God. I'm asking you to understand that none of us are righteous. We need the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And he gives you his righteousness. When you trust Jesus as your Savior, all of the righteousness of Jesus Christ is credited to you. Our self-righteousness is worthless. But the righteousness of Jesus Christ is perfection. Now, when you have the righteousness of Jesus covering you, God looks at you and sees a sinless, perfect child of God. So today, everything's about self, you know, self-confidence, self-esteem, 
self-control, self-righteousness. But I'm asking you now to don't be self-centered, but be God-centered. Put all your dependence back on God rather than trying to be an independent person, independent from God. Remember, the Bible says that God is love. Certainly, you can humble yourself and place your total dependence on God. Depend on God, Jesus Christ, for your salvation. Depend on Him. That's really what salvation is based upon. Salvation is based upon the fact that we come to the realization that we do need God. I mean, after all, you would not exist unless God created you. You would not have air to breathe unless God provided it. You would not have food to eat unless God provided it. And you certainly will not have eternal life in heaven unless you receive it from God. And the only way that's available to you is through Jesus Christ. Put your dependence and your confidence in Jesus Christ as your Savior. And God gives you eternal life as a free gift. Now that's good news. So today, I'm asking you to make a declaration of dependence on Jesus Christ. Will you do it? If so, bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.